Hi, so last time we have an example regarding this exact differential equation by uh, doing these steps to solve an exact DE. So um, this time we will also use this, the same equation, but um, we will let the, um, the uh, function of f is equal to the integral of n dy and then change the role of x and y. Okay, so last time kasi we've let f is equal to integral of m dx and do the following steps. For this time, we will now um, uh, change the role of uh, variable x and y. Okay, so um, of course, the uh, first step is just the same. This is, this is our both exact. So for step 2, instead of this, we will make the uh, I mean we will uh, let f is equal to the integral of uh, instead of n dx we now let n dy naman so we have where can I uh, write this let me let me rewrite na lang the whole thing so we have 4x minus y dx plus 6y minus x dy is equal to 0. Okay. So, um, if we interchange the rule of x and y, then we have first step is after the um, test for exactness is that f is equal to the integral of this part n n dy so we have n dy then we perform the integration n is 6y minus x dy by letting x as constant so we have um, 6y squared all over 2 minus x y plus it's, it's a dy sum um, variable of uh, constant uh, some uh, constant of integration b of x as a function of x okay so uh, as you can see here we have n dy then our constant of integration is in terms of uh, some uh, function of x b of x okay then simplifying we have uh, 3 uh, y squared minus xy plus b of x okay so actually this is this will gonna be our um, solution but we need to find the value of our b of x okay so um, the um, next step is to um, yeah is to um since we integrate this, need the uh, deriv partial derivative of um, of this uh, f with respect to x naman. Okay? So we need to take the partial derivative with respect to x. We're in, if this is our f, then the partial derivative of f with respect to x by letting y constant. So this whole term here is called is constant and the derivative of constant is just zero and for this part negative x y if y is constant then we have a uh, negative y and then because uh, the derivative of x is just uh, x y is just negative y then plus b prime of x okay then right after that our next step is to to uh, determine the value of, of our bx by um, by equating this to m okay so first to integrate this with n dy then we um, take the derivative of f with respect to x and then we equate this with our m with our m which is 4x minus y 
So, uh, this part is negative y plus b prime of x equal to ano, 4x minus y. So, we have 4x minus y. As you can see here, this is this will uh, result to 0. So, our bx, b prime of x is just 4x. Okay? And right after getting the value of our b prime x, we need is b of x only. only. So, our uh, next step is to um, get the integral of this b prime of x, which yields to b of x, right? So, the b of x is 4x. Then, with the respect to x, so we have 4 x squared divided by 2 is equal to 2x 2x um, 2x squared so this is 2x squared I mean uh, by the way we need to add another uh, constant of integration nga pala so in our bx is 2x squared plus c and then substituting this value, substituting this in our um, uh, step 3, we have 3y squared minus xy, 2x squared plus 2x squared plus c or equal c. So this is now our solution general solution so uh, going back let's uh, see our um, uh, last sample so we have this part so by the way I forgot to uh, add constant C so we have 2x square where, where is last time our answer is this part so let's check if they are equal. So we have 2x squared, we have 2x squared, negative xy, we have negative xy, we have positive 3y squared, we have positive 3y squared, and our constant of integration c. Okay, so um, they are the same. It only means that uh, you can uh, follow these uh, steps first, the test for exactness, and follow these steps if you've proven that our given differential equation is exact and uh, and you can uh, interchange the role of x and y okay but just uh, follow this step okay so for this uh, specific example we've only proved that um, either way is uh, you will gonna come up with exactly the same answer okay so um, that's all for this video and see you again next time.